Philippines is eyeing Chinook helicopters from U.S. The Philippines is keen on buying new helicopters from the United States, Philippine Ambassador to U.S. Jose Manuel Romualdez said. According to Mr. Romualdez, Washington is offering the Philippines to buy heavy lift Chinook helicopters aside from the Black Hawk helicopters which the Philippines agreed to buy in December 2018. Romualdez said the Philippine military prefers American-made equipment, not because they have anything against Russian or Chinese made, but because interoperability is very important. The Philippines agreed to buy 16 UH-60 Black Hawk helicopters from the Sikorsky Aircraft Corporation for $240 million shunning cheaper Russian equipment due to U.S. sanctions on Russian military exports. China warns of war in case of move towards Taiwan independence, accusing the United States of undermining global stability and denouncing its arms sales to the self-ruled island. Last month, the United States approved sales of weapons requested by Taiwan, including tanks and Stinger missiles estimated to be worth $2.2 billion. China responded by saying it would impose sanctions on U.S. firms involved in any deals. Defense Ministry spokesman told, the first like it in several years to outline the military's strategic concerns, that China would make its greatest effort for peaceful reunification with Taiwan. If there are people who dare to try to split Taiwan from the country, China's military will be ready to go to war to firmly safeguard national sovereignty unity and territorial integrity, he said. Taiwan's Mainland Affairs Council said later in a statement that Beijing's provocative behavior seriously violated the peace principle in international laws and relations, challenging regional safety and order. We urge Beijing authorities to renounce irrational, malicious acts such as the use of force, and to improve cross-strait relations and handle issues including Hong Kong rationally, so that it can be a responsible regional member. It said a spokesman for the U.S. State Department said Washington remained committed to a one-China policy, under which Washington officially recognizes Beijing and not Taipei, while assisting Taiwan. He said U.S. arms sales to Taiwan were a consistent policy of multiple U.S. administrations and had contributed to the maintenance of peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. The United States considers any effort to determine the future of Taiwan by any means other than peaceful are of grave concern to the United States, he added. While Washington has no formal ties with democratic Taiwan, it is bound by law to help provide it with the means to defend itself. North Korea launches missiles raising tension in Korean Peninsula. North Korea fired two short-range missiles into the sea, South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said, after warnings from Pyongyang over military exercises between Washington and Seoul next month. The North has warned the annual military drill could affect the planned resumption of denuclearization talks between Washington and Pyongyang. The two missiles were launched just after dawn from Wonsan on the east coast and flew more than 430 kilometers before falling into the East Sea, also known as the Sea of Japan, the South's military said. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you like the channel and want to support, please support on Patreon or PayPal. The details are given below in the description.